Hi there. Um, I'm about to give you a quick demonstration of the Kubuntu 3D Cube. So I'm on the Kubuntu desktop on my MacBook Pro. Um, I have some shortcut keys that I have configured. So if I do Control 1, that will switch me to the first desktop. Control 2, 3, and 4, and so on. Um, you can also do Control Tab, which I have configured, which will actually enable the cube in full 3D. So you can use the cursor keys to scroll through like so. You can go up and down. And if you actually grab your mouse, you can spin it around 360, which is pretty cool. I, I love it. Um, and obviously you can just choose whichever one you want and go to it. So um, that's it really. I mean, it's, you can also enable some other effects as well. If I just go back to my first desktop here. Um, there's also some other things actually with the Kubuntu desktop where if you just go to the top corner of your screen. Oops, I'll do that again. Um, you can select which window you want, regardless of which desktop it's on. So I just want to look at TweetDeck, for example. Or I can go back to Girly Geekdom. <laughs> um, and uh, you can also enable things such as the Genie min Minimize. So you can minimize that. It will do that Genie effect. Um, if you uh, move one of the windows, you, you can see it wobbles a little bit, so you can enable a wobble on the window if you want to. Um, and if you actually move a window to the top, you can actually see the top of the cube, which will then maximize the window. You can pull it away. So it's, um, it's pretty cool. It's just that you do have to do a lot of fiddling around with Kubuntu. It's not as um, easy as the op other operating systems, I guess, to enable things, but I, I think it's worth it. Um, and I, I just love the flexibility of Kubuntu as a whole. So, but anyway, that's the uh, desktop cube.